This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8, and it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, all caps, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even on my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Brekatha Yahweh, Brekatha Yahweh Shai. Brekatha Yahweh, Brekatha Yahweh Shai. Brekatha Yahweh, Brekatha Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rakaha Kwadash. The water, the water, the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors that apostles and elders, a great Muslim who teach one rule, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives through the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath, listening, listening, and learning. Shalom. Zephaniah 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, right? Who we waiting on? Yahweh, wa Yahweh Shai. Saith the Lord, all caps, Yahweh, Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey, right? The day that I rise up to the prey, the day of the Lord, rise up to the prey. Let's look into this word, pray. Rise up to the prey, right? The prey being in the Hebrew. Strong's H, 5706, add, add. Right, booty, pray. What's this here, the root word? The same as, the same as perpetuity, forever, continuing, future. Ancient of past time, forever of future time. Of continuous existence, forever of the Most High's existence. Duration in the sense of advance or perpetuity. Eternity. All perpetually. World without end. Right, world without end. What world is without end? Jacob. Second Ezra 6 verse 9. Jacob is the beginning of the world. Second Ezra 6 verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau. You Edomites. Idumia. You banking family. You ruin class elites. The earth is given in the hand of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. Right? This is the end of their world. Right? Their era. Their age. Eon. And Jacob. Yasharala. Is the beginning of it that followeth. Israel is the beginning. Right? World without end. That's heavy. Uh, Isaiah. 45 in the spirit. Isaiah 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, all caps, Yahweh. Israel, Israel being a people before a place. You so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro. With an everlasting salvation, right? A salvation that will never end. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end, right? That era, that age, that period of time will never end. Right? So go back into this word. Rise to the prey. The same as in the sense of the aim of an attack. Booty prey. Right? Yahweh Shai is coming to end this, the world as we know it. Rise up to, against this world as we know it. Take it. Seize it. That's another thing. Uh, the other the transliterations. There's one that jumped out at me. We'll read the NLT and then we'll read the one. The NLT. Therefore be patient, saith Yahweh. Soon I will stand and accuse these evil nations. Right? Who are these evil nations? Beginning with Esau, Edom. Right? As well as these other nations. These, 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 these Hamites. These Ishmaelites. These Ammonites. These Moabites, these Elamites, 
For I have decided to gather the kingdoms of the earth and pour out my fierce anger and fury on them. Right, the Most High going to judge this whole place, this whole planet. All the earth will be devoured by the fire of my jealousy. This is the one that I liked. NET. We'll get the NET next. Where is it? There's one that said uh, C's. Right here, the ESV. Therefore, wait for me, declares the Lord. All caps, Yahweh. For the day when I rise up to seize the prey. Seize the prey, the booties, the spoils. Right? Seize. Seize means to take. For my decision is to gather nations. To assemble kingdoms, to pour out upon them my indignation, righteous anger, all my burning anger, for in the fire of my jealousy, all the earth shall be consumed. Right now, how's it going to be consumed? Nu thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic heat. This translation right here, I like this one. Therefore, wait for me, saith Yahweh, for the day when I arise as a witness, as a witness, as a as a judge. For my decision is to gather the nations. To assemble kingdoms, to pour out upon them my 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 indignation, all the heat of my anger, for in the fire of my jealous wrath, all the earth shall be consumed. There's one that I saw, where it said plunder. Right here. Therefore, you must wait patiently for me, saith Yahweh. For the day when I attack and take plunder. That's heavy, man. Right? But it said here, witness. You know, scripture comes to mind. Uh, inquisition. Make inquisition of them. You look at this word. Inquisition is judicial. Investigation. Act or process of inquiring. A searching into. A seeking. Legal examination. A seeking of grounds for accusation, right? The Most High going judge this place. Second Ezra six, verse eighteen, and it said, "Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth." Right, we're in that time where the Most High is beginning to visit this place. And how does He visit this place? With famines, with deaths, with with plagues, with pestilence. With rumors of war, with upwards of people, with earthquakes, right? These are the times we're in, man. Verse 18, and we'll begin to make inquisition of them. Of who? These heathen nations, beginning with Esau, Edom. Right? What they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled, right? And that's all they've done. Hurt unjustly. unjustly. And run, and run through this place with unrighteousness towards Jake, towards Israel. Israel being a people before a place. But the Lord, Yahweh B'Shem is about to turn back the, the affliction of Zion, of Israel. Israel being a people before a place. He's about to do that, man. Right? These, these, these heathen nations ain't ready, man. They have no idea what's coming. You know, wisdom of Solomon 1. Verse 9, they have no idea what's coming, man. Great wrath is coming. Wisdom of Solomon 1, verse 9. For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly. Who are the ungodly? These heathen nations. Beginning with Esau, Edom, the number one offender. Right? Two thirds of the right people, wicked Israelites. Right? They're going to have to die by pain on this side or come back in the kingdom. And the, sound, and the sound of his word shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds, right? The Lord knows what's going on. All is going to be made manifest. Right? What does it say? Nothing in dark? I believe that's in Luke. Luke chapter 8, I believe. Nothing in dark. 
It's all gonna be made. All, it's all gonna come to light. Done in dark. Right. That's why Isa be getting exposed. Salakia. Shall come to light. Saint Luke. Let me just look. I believe it's in. I think it's in Luke eight. Luke chapter eight. It's red letter. Khan. Luke chapter 8 Luke chapter 8 verse 17 Red letter our Lord said this For nothing is secret That shall not be made manifest Neither anything hid That shall not be known And come abroad right So all the wickedness all the atrocities That this wicked diabolical madman has done Right It's going to come to light man Right and he's going to be judged on it Right, Psalms 2, Psalms chapter 2, verse 8, and it reads, Ask of me, ask of the Father, Yahweh, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Right, Yahweh Shai's son is going to inherit the heathen. Who are these heathen? These, these, these other nations, man. Beginning with Esau, Edom, the number one offender. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession, right? You're going to possess the whole earth. You're going to possess these heathens, right? And we being joined heirs, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, with that number, right? We get the, tr we, we, we're joint heirs. We get, we get, we get, we get an inheritance. We get an inheritance as well under Yahweh Shai. Romans, Romans, Salakia. Psalms 110, verse 1. Right, and this is what, we being the hopeful elect, Lord willing of that number. It's what we hope for, man. The kingdom of heaven established on earth as it is in heaven. Under our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Psalms 110 verse 1. The Lord, all caps, the Father, Yahweh, said unto my Lord, his son, Yahweh Shai, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Right? All these heathen nations are the enemies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They are going to be made the footstool of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai. Right? His son getting his son getting the glory, Yahweh Shai. Right? Close out with Romans 8. Right? These, these heathen nations have no idea what's coming, man. Romans 8, verse 17, and it reads. And if children, then ears, ears of the most high, and joint ears with Hamashiach. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Right? If we suffer with him, right, we'll be heirs of Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai. Right? Patience, patience meaning to suffer. We've got to suffer in this truth. Acts chapter 14 verse 22 says, through much tribulation. Let's get it. I don't want to butcher it. Right? His elect, his elect are, go, are going to suffer. Right? It's not a cakewalk into the kingdom. Not going to skate into the kingdom. We're not going to skate backwards into the kingdom. It's not easy. Acts 14, it won't be easy. Acts chapter 14, verse 22, and it reads, Confirming the souls of the disciples, right, the elect, and exhorting them to continue in the faith, right, hold fast to what you have, to, 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 to which you have learned. I don't want to butcher you, I'll get it, Lord willing. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, right, it's going to be a time like no other. Hold fast. And what are we holding fast to? This truth. It's in Revelation. Revelation 2 verse 25. But that which ye have. But that which, which ye. 
Let's get it red letter. Revelation 3 and 3 and Revelation 2 verse 25. Revelation 2 verse 25 and it reads, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. Hold fast, hold fast on to what? This knowledge. This wisdom. This understanding. Right? Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3 verse 3 and it reads Remember therefore how thou how thou hast received and heard received and heard what this knowledge of wisdom is understanding this truth and hold fast hang on to it man and repent if therefore thou shalt not watch I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee right so us in this truth the hopeful elect we're watching we're praying praying always standing watch and hanging on to this truth for dear life Right? I want to look in this word heirs in Romans 8 verse 17 in the Greek. Strong's G 2818 Kleronamas Kleronamas Kleron Kleronamas in the Greek. One who receives by lot an heir an heir in messianic usage, one who receives his allotted possession by right of sonship, right? Are we not sons of the Mosai? And what's the allotted, what's the allotted possession, the put aside possession for us being sons of the Mosai? Right? Joint heirs with, 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 with Hamashiach, right? The heathen for thy possession and the whole world for, 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 for the heathen for thy possession, right? And the whole world for thine inheritance. One who has acquired or obtained the portion allotted to him, right? Acquired or, or obtained. And how, how do we acquire and obtain it? By enduring to the end. Right? Read Psalms 2 verse 8 once again and close out. Psalms chapter 2 verse 8. And it reads. Ask of me. And I shall give thee the heathen. For thine inheritance. Right? All these other nations. And the uttermost parts of the earth. For thy possession. They pray it up. Pray it out ceasing. Kwam Yasharala. Wa Abad. Babal. Shalom.